going live. Hello, everyone. My name is Priya, and I'm here with my friend Shannon. Ani, Shannon. Ani. So nice that you're here with us today. Shannon has a really special presentation today because I'm wearing a really special short, a shirt that's orange. So Shannon's going to explain to us why we are going to wear orange shirts on September 30th. So Shannon, welcome. We're so excited that you're here. Hi. <clears throat> I'm really happy to be here. And so, first of all, I'll explain who I am. My name's Shannon Paul, and that's my English name. And my spirit name is Bashkwanaquid Ndishnikaz, and I'm from the Moose Clan. And I am an indigenous person, indigenous. And so my people have lived on these lands for thousands and thousands of years. We've lived here for a long, long time. We're the first people to live on this land. Wow. And so awesome. you're probably wondering what Ani means. So what does Ani, Ani mean, Shannon? Hello. Ani. <laughs> Ani. And so Maybe everyone can say it with us. Yeah, that's a great idea. So just on me. On me. Yeah, and that means hello. And that's in the Ojibwe language. So the language that my people speak is called Ojibwe. And so my ancestors lived here before there was buildings, and before there was cars, <clears throat> and we learned how to live in the forest. And for thousands and thousands of years, that's how it was. And we, had we still have beautiful songs. And I'd like to share a song with you right now. <clears throat> so while I'm singing, I'm going to tap a little bit. And you might hear it. you so much and so that song was called the seven generation song and an elder gave me that very special song so i'm really happy that i got to sing it with you guys today <clears throat> and so i noticed that you are wearing a beautiful orange shirt today yes i am and it's orange. So on September 30th is Orange Shirt Day. And so it's really important that we all wear an orange shirt on September 30th. And so I'm going to explain a little bit why it's important to wear an orange shirt on September 30th. So first of all, I'm going to explain a few things. I'm going to explain about a little bit more about my people. And I'm going to explain about residential schools. And then I'm going to tell you a story about a, a young girl named Phyllis. So, um, so I'm an indigenous woman and we have lived here for a long time. And we sing songs, we have our language. And then one day, 
a long time ago, people came to our lands and they wanted the lands for themselves. So they stole the land from my people and they stole more land and more land and more land. And they were becoming greedy. And then what they wanted to do was they wanted to take the children. So my grandparents, um, they were taken away by people and these people wanted to change them and they wanted them to talk differently and that's wrong. And um, when the kids that uh, were taken away, they put them into schools and these are mean schools. And the kids were um, punished for speaking a different language. Um, they, were, they were told that they were not good because they had a darker skin color. And that's not right. And they weren't allowed to sing songs or play. And they had to clean all day long. And they didn't get to eat good food either. So the schools were really mean. And that's not right and it's not fair. And so they put they took all the kids and and stole them from their parents and put them in residential schools. And the kids were um, to be taught uh, English and um, told that told to wear different clothes. And some kids had long, long, beautiful hair. And the teachers in the residential schools would cut their hair very short. And so it was not nice. A lot of the kids in the residential schools were bullied and the schools were mean and scary. And so today we hope that schools, um, that we hope that that will never happen again. And so, one of the things that we could do on September 30th is wear the orange shirts so that we could remember um, that we are never to do that again to kids. kids. Kids are very, very important. And all kids have gifts and all kids are special. And it doesn't matter uh, what color your skin is or where a child is from, all kids are, are beautiful, talented and special. And so we don't want any more mean schools ever again. And Orange Shirt Day is really, really important. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna tell you a little story about a little girl named Phyllis. And Phyllis was um, an indigenous little girl like me. And one day she was told that she was going to go to school. And she was going to go to a brand new school. And her mom decided to buy her a nice, beautiful, shiny orange shirt. And little Phyllis was so excited to wear her orange shirt to school. And she was really happy. And she was walking to school, holding her mommy's hand. And her mommy was so proud of her. And when Phyllis went to the school, the teachers said that she couldn't wear her orange shirt. And as soon as the mommy left home, the teachers told Phyllis to take her shirt off and told her to wear something else. And poor Phyllis never seen her orange shirt again. And Phyllis was in the school for many, many years. And she, she always thought about her orange shirt and what happened to it. And so when she got older, she asked the teachers if she could have her orange shirt back. And the teacher said they threw it away. They threw it away a long time ago, they said. 
And Phyllis was really, really sad about that. And so when Phyllis got older and became an adult, she bought her own orange t-shirt and she wears it to remember what happened to her and to, and to remember what happened to all the kids in the school um, that, that went to this mean school. And so this orange shirt is a beautiful reminder um, of all of the kids that went to this school. And some kids never made it back home. And some kids got lost and they never returned back to their parents. And some people don't know what happened to the kids in those schools. But the survivors, like Phyllis, um, she's right here in this picture. That's Phyllis when she's older now. And she's proud to wear her orange shirt and she has an eagle feather in her hands. And so she is honoring Orange Shirt Day. And today, this is why we are gonna wear Orange Shirt Day, um, Orange Shirt on September 30th. And so it is a very sad story, but that is what happened and today, we are going to make orange hearts. So on orange shirt day, make sure to have your orange hearts um, inside your homes, in your schools, and we hope to have lots of hearts and we'll have your orange t-shirt on on September 30th. And you could actually put this on your wall right away. Um, and so this is to remember that we want to spread love and kindness all over. Shannon, I have my orange heart. Yeah, it looks very, very nice. Thank you. I drew it on a piece of paper and I colored it in orange because I didn't have orange paper. That's amazing. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, so if you have a white piece of paper, you could um, color in your orange heart, just like what Priya did. So Shannon, should I write anything in my orange heart? Is there anything I should do with the orange heart? Absolutely. So in this one, I put every child matters. Wow. And so I would like you to write every child matters in your heart. And I could put it up close and you could see. And then we're gonna think of some nice words we could say to people, um, you know, to make them feel good and to make them feel special. Um, or you can draw pictures. So right now, um, I'm going to grab my pencil and just simply draw a smiley face. And if you can spell every child matters, that would be amazing. And I'm also going to think of words. And if you can think of some um, nice things that you could say to somebody, um, you know, who may look different, you could say, um, you look nice. How about um, you are special? You are special. And that would make somebody feel really, really special. Or how about you make me smile? You make me smile. That's such a nice one. Or you have a beautiful smile. Um, do you want to be my friend? Um, and, and it could go on and on. So I want you to think of nice things you could say. 
write them down on these hearts. Um, I have two of them. You can draw pictures. And I would like you to make as many as you can or you want to and fill up your whole wall with them, with all of your friends. Wow, that's a great idea, Shannon. The color orange is definitely very special after you taught us about Phyllis's story. I hope that we could also, should we wear an orange t-shirt if we have one on September 30th? Yes, on September 30th, bring out your orange shirt and wear it on September 30th. And so we're gonna, because um, we want to let all of the kids know that we are thinking about them. All of those kids that went into those mean schools and that we're thinking of them and that, um, and we want everybody to know that every child matters. And so when you wear that shirt, it lets the whole world know. That's great, Shannon. So I know that some of the kids may have some questions like, are there any more mean schools like that anymore that Indigenous kids have to go to? Um, well, the good news is, is there's no more residential schools anymore. Um, that closed down um, not too long ago. And the residential schools, um, they were here for a really, really long time. My great, great grandparents were in those schools. And so it's really good that they're, they're closed down. And um, some of the buildings are so old that they're falling down now. Um, some of the buildings got changed into uh, a different kind of building. And, and some of the buildings have um, um, look pretty, really scary because a lot of bad things happen in those schools. So those schools don't exist anymore, but the buildings are still around. And um, so a lot of people will actually put orange hearts or orange shirts around the buildings. And so we're pretty lucky that um, those buildings aren't around anymore. So kids could be um, safe. So Shannon, why is it important to always remember that these schools existed? Because we don't want to forget about um, what happened here in Canada. And so um, we can't pretend like nothing happened, and that's not right. Uh, the right thing to do is to um, uh, let everybody know what happened and so that uh, it won't happen again and so that we can learn from this and so people can learn from, from not making this mistake again. And, um, and, it, and it won't happen again. So Shannon, I have another question. When the kids went to the mean residential schools, were they allowed to speak their language? No. When they went to these residential schools, um, the kids were punished. They were um, sent away in a room and they were punished for speaking their language. So. What happened was, um, like Phyllis, um, the only language that the children knew was their language, Ojibwe. And so when they went to the school, they were talking Ojibwe and the teachers would get mad at them and say, hey, you're not supposed to talk Ojibwe. You talk English like me. And so the kids had to learn very quickly how to speak English. Yeah, that's why it's so important to learn to remember that our languages are so important to us. And we're, we celebrate each other's differences, not make us all the same. Right, Shannon? That's right, Priya. Yeah. It's so important. And orange, the orange shirt represents that too, that we can celebrate our individuality, our specialness as a person.
just like Phyllis did in her orange shirt. That's right. And so it's really important that we be curious and um, learn about um, other people's cultures, learn about your friends' cultures, and also learn about your own culture too. And, um, and, and appreciate that, be curious, be kind, and, and that's the right way. That's awesome. Thank you, Shannon. That's such an important lesson. Um, can you teach us a few more words in Ojibwe? Absolutely. So <clears throat> we'll practice saying hello again. Do you remember how to say hello? It's Ani. 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 Ani, Shannon. And then how to say um, later. Um, is Bama P. Bama P. Yeah, Bama P. Bama P. Awesome. <laughs> That's how you say it later. How do you say um, thank you? How to say thank you is thank you is me gwitch. Me gwitch. Me gwitch. Me Grinch. So, yeah. wow, that's awesome. Thanks for teaching us Ojibwe words, Shannon. So if you, if teachers who are listening in today, if your students have any questions, you can email me the questions and I can pass them along to Shannon to, for her to answer. Um, we would love to see your hearts and to see your messages and the pictures that you draw on your hearts, because how cool is that? And if you even have pictures of you guys in orange shirts on September yes. 30th, that would be great to see. So make sure to pass it along. Um, teachers, you know how to get in touch with me and I can show Shannon. And if, you're, if your students have any questions, Shannon will answer them and I'll send back the answers from Shannon. I would love that. I hope to see pictures of you guys wearing your orange shirts on sub September 30th. That's great. And we're going to remember all those kids who went to residential school on September 30th while we wear our orange shirts. And make sure we always remember because we never want to forget. And so we never have let it happen again. So thank you so much, Shannon. Miigwech. Thank you for Miigwech. being here. Bama P. Bama P. See you later. Bye, everybody. Take care.